This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Magna Gold, Mr. Arturo Bonillas. Arturo, muy buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? Gerardo, muy buenos días. Muy bien. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, we're all very happy by the things uh, are going and developing. So, so we are uh, also uh, uh, very happy to give you an update. I like this, giving you this update on a monthly basis, and uh, so we're we're ready. I I appreciate the time and the update, Arturo. The share price obviously has responded well. I am of the opinion that this is just the beginning. Let's start with what's already happened, and then we can talk a bit about what's going to happen. During the first two months of operations, the San Francisco mine reported sales of 8.53 million, and that's in U.S. dollars, and operating costs of 3.77 million, with a margin, of course, of 4.76 million. The company produced 5,087 ounces of gold and you sold 4,977 ounces at an average cost of $741 per ounce of gold produced and 758 per ounce of gold sold. Can we talk about those numbers, Arturo? Yes, those are the correct numbers. All that production came from the residual leaching. Uh, we made... Uh, some improvements on the leaching. The the numbers of production were expected to be lower, but uh, we we did uh, much higher. Uh, we made some quick improvements, uh, and uh, we also uh, began processing the low grade stockpile uh, that we have been announcing. We we started that uh, just uh, about, about ten days ago, so that shall be reflected. Uh, until uh, second part of this month, uh, we we uh, refurbished and did maintenance to the crushers and conveyor belts because they had not been used for for a while now. So we spent some money there, and uh, as I said, we made important improvements in the leaching and circulating of the leach solutions uh, that are already there. But we're processing the residual leaching. Uh, one important thing, uh, which is a bit technical, but uh, we reduced our crush size uh, significantly on our ore to get additional recoveries from the low grade stockpile and and when the fresh ore uh, is being processed the next month. Uh, so that uh, that is also helping. Uh, and uh, the numbers you mentioned are correct. We have uh, at the end of June uh, 8.4 million US dollars in the bank just at the San Francisco mine. That does not include the money we raised in, in the latest private placement. So things are going well. Uh, we currently started uh, infill drilling around the pits, as we had said. Hmm. Uh, and the purpose is to uh, increase our, our guidance for this year. And uh, so we're finding other areas of opportunity that are quite interesting. And uh, the people and the workers are, are doing very well, uh, and they're all healthy. We have had no cases of COVID. So in general, that's uh, that's how the mine is performing uh, at Arno. Excellent. Magna ended the month. Uh, just to follow up on your comment there about the cash position, I believe the month of June closed with $14.3 million in cash. You mentioned drilling that's ongoing. Um, there's also a pre-feasibility study that's expected by the end of July. That's going to include um, something I'm excited about, which is forward-looking guidance, which obviously you have not been able to give to date. Can you speak to that a bit? Is that on on, on track? That's on track, yes. We will be providing guidance for the rest of the year in August when we finish the technical report. The technical report is being uh, carried out by Micon Engineering from uh, from Canada, and uh, they are on time. They uh, are in our data rooms and reviewing um, the block model uh, and also our costs, et cetera. So, so that's on time. Uh, another... Um, yeah, you know, we 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 ended the uh, uh, Magna Gold uh, uh, with over fourteen million dollars in cash, which is uh, nice to have. 
the my, the money we raised uh, up to now uh, we have not had the need to use it on the operation. The operations are, as you can see, self-sustainable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of bootstrapping, and that's our philosophy of working there. We will use uh, the money that we raised for uh, exploration drilling in other areas for the exploration pipeline, and uh, and we will uh, separate that from uh, from the mine performance. Let's uh, so talk. That, uh, yeah, no, that, that's a very, very good overview. Can we talk a bit about the drilling? I want to remind everybody just how exciting the upcoming drilling at La Pima is. And, and frankly, you have a couple of properties that you're hoping to drill before year end, correct? Including the San Francisco mine and the surrounding pits. That's correct, yes. Uh, uh, that's the exploration pipeline that we, we have uh, already agreed with surface owners at La Pima. I mentioned before in our previous interviews with La Pima is a very interesting silver uh, high-grade uh, project that we have. Uh, it's an old mine. You see a lot of old workings and underground workings that were uh, uh, done by uh, settlers uh, in the early 1900s. And uh, we are going to start drilling as soon as we get the permits. We have, uh, we are right now we are doing geophysics. And, but we do have uh, the location of the drill holes and uh, lots of sampling. So as soon as we get the permits from the environmental authorities, we will start doing that. Uh, we are hoping to get those permits between within the next six to eight uh, weeks. Uh, the uh, uh, offices of the environmental authorities uh, continue to be closed, but they shall be opening soon, and we have prepared all the documentation. And also, in addition, there's another area we call Veta Tierra. Uh, we're going to start drilling that also uh, this year, very soon also, because Veta Tierra is a, uh, it's a target that we didn't complete drilling uh, in the previous years when we were there. And I think that uh, could become a, potentially a short-term uh, pit uh, to feed uh, the our crushers. Uh, crushers have a lot of capacity. Uh, and uh, so before the end of the year also, uh, we want to see if we can begin drilling the San Judas property, though we announced that it will happen next year. But we are uh, doing a lot of exploration work there also, and uh, we we are look at determining the drill targets. And so that's very exciting, um, in addition to uh, the infill drilling that we already began. It's a lot to like, Arturo, a lot to look forward to. Um, I've come to know you pretty well, and I can I can anticipate that if, if, if you think you might be drilling multiple projects by year end and producing by multiple from multiple projects starting early next year, that you're likely to get that done sooner rather than later. You've done nothing but over-deliver and under-promise. Congratulations to you and your team. Stay healthy, and I look forward to having you back once we can start talking about guidance. Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, one uh, one milestone that was very important for us during the month of June is that we concluded the, the lawsuit that the company has uh, with the mining contractor. Uh, that was a big accomplishment. Uh, that lawsuit uh, was uh, reaching $30 million, so so we were able to um, resolve that uh, with much less, less cash, and uh, and we're moving forward with the same contractor. You know, they're very happy. So that that's important to mention. Excellent. Excellent. Arturo, thank you for your time. Please stay safe and then we'll chat soon again. Gerardo, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to tell your, your audience and investors uh, what we're doing. Let's keep it going. Uh, you know, let's, keep in, uh, let's keep this routine going. Uh, and, uh, and again, thank you very much. Well, you're giving me lots to talk about, which is good. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.